The main cabin door is now closed and we're ready for takeoff. The destination, the Skift Aviation Forum. Happening in Dallas this November, on stage you'll hear from the CEOs of American Airlines, Southwest Airlines, and so many more. Reserve your seat today at live.skift.com. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Friday, September 27th, 2024, and now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Hotel companies are trying to figure out how artificial intelligence will impact their businesses. Leaders in the industry aren't quite sure yet, reports senior hospitality editor Sean O'Neill, who attended the Destination AI Summit in Washington, D.C. Jess Petit, an executive at Hilton, said the number of hotel bookings made using generative AI is minuscule, but added the technology would make a huge impact on the industry. However, some experts are skeptical about generative AI significantly changing the balance of power regarding how hotels attract customers. O'Neill writes, if hotel companies don't adequately invest in the technology, they'll be outcompeted technologically. Next, Mallorca continues to be a tourism hotspot, despite recent large-scale protests against mass tourism to the island, writes global tourism reporter DeWitt Hoptimerium. Mallorca recorded more than 8.5 million overnight hotel stays in August, the highest of any tourist region in Spain. The island also had the highest weekend hotel occupancy at 90%. Despite widespread coverage of the protests, a recently released survey by Mallorca's Tourism Board found roughly 90% of American visitors were unaware of the anti-mass tourism demonstrations. Finally, Southwest Airlines has raised its revenue outlook for the third quarter as it plans to make more changes to its business operations, writes Airlines reporter Meghna Maharashi, who was in Dallas for Southwest's Investor Day presentations. Southwest expects its revenue per available seat mile to increase between 2 and 3 percent, up from previous estimates. The company attributed the increase in part to a surge in travel demand. Meanwhile, to help boost profits, Southwest has unveiled plans to introduce premium seating and red-eye flights. Southwest projects its seating changes will generate an additional $1.5 billion in revenue. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. Don't forget to follow or subscribe to this podcast wherever you're listening and help spread the word about the Skip Daily Travel Briefing by rating us five stars or leaving us a positive review. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to at Skipped News and hit that notification bell to find out whenever a new episode is released. Want to reach the most influential audience in travel? Skip Dex helps brands solve problems, create unforgettable moments, and communicate big ideas through content, research, and event activations. Learn more about how we can help you at skiftx.com.